Welcome back to next topic. My name is Temi Alchemy. I'm Fred Santana. And uh, obviously, Kyra. Oh, no, we, um, sorry, that. we have to get a smaller bottle because we've been a bit irresponsible last time. Yeah, S1. So oh, um, we got a smaller bottle now, and we're joined by a guest. I'm saying my name. Yeah, you were doing Just Wavy. Baby. Just Wavy. What's popping? Not much. Not much. How's life? Life's good. I'm tired. Fair holidays. Not holidays. What, is she been flying out? No, yeah. I got back from Cyprus yesterday, or the day before. Yesterday. But that wasn't a holiday. Bro, you're spudding females. Is that how you're feeling? That's how drillers keep it. That is, he's keeping it too real. Keeping it true. Local driller. Meet our local driller. Um, He's always providing us with our subjects and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Does he talk? Nah, he can't talk. <laughs> oh, cool. We got our topics. So Joss, the DJ. It's actually all about you today, still. Aww. On this one. So obviously, tell us about who you are. Like you're a female DJ. We have no idea what that's about. We see big DJs like our very own Kenny All Star. You know. But what about, you know, the female side of things? Like, what's it like for you? How did you start? Everything like that. Um, I started, what, like two years ago, nearly two years ago. Um, my dad's a DJ, so he was kind of teaching me. Who's your dad, Semtex? Yeah, actually. <laughs> Semtex. Yeah. Swear down. What, you didn't know? No. Wait, are we better in it? No. Are you serious? No, I'm joking. No, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Yeah, nah, um, he was teaching me and stuff, and then, yeah, I just started doing shows, like, last summer, just, like, little parties, events, whoever okay. wanted to book me kind of thing. That's two guests in the road that want to be like their dad, bro. Okay, I didn't me. say I want to be like my dad, but... Okay, nah, but you DJ, <laughs> like, he taught you something, did it? I guess so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, so you start doing the, um... Was you shit on your first day, like... Now, not like learning with your dad, but like your first booking. My first booking, yeah. Um, like, did kinda. the sounds not come out of the speaker or? No, I obviously someone was set it up for me. So when I got there, um, I was using like a little controller. Someone set it up, but no one was there. Yeah. yeah. So I was kind of just playing. Like, oh, you got the warm up set, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, so I'm not always, even the warm up set. There like, was I'm no always... one to warm up. Like there was no one there. Oh. It was me and my friend, like just playing to no one. But I was kind of happy about it. So yeah, I was yeah. Mad nervous. Cause I've always thought, like, as a DJ, if you're, like, first, you'll be, like, nah. Like, it's, like, the later you are in the night, the more you're rated, basically. S- mm, slightly, yeah. Slightly, right? If you're first, you're not... Slightly, but also like depends what you play, you know, like... the first barber chair in the shop, right? <laughs> and sitting in that shit. <laughs> it depends, though, because, you know, like, it depends what you play, like, you know, they might have a set, like, this time's going to be bashment, this time's going to be that. If you're a bashment DJ, you're going to be the bashment set. Do you know what I mean? Okay, okay, okay. okay. But cool. that's usually, yeah, if you're getting the early sets, maybe you're, like, more up and coming and then the bigger DJs will get the main set. But okay, so where are you positioned now? I'm kind of... It depends. Like, certain events, I might be... Not mm. really the warm-up, but I might time be the counts. 11.30. But, like, recently I've been getting some main sets, so... Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. name on flyers. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. So what, what yeah. genre is your... Like, this is your shit. Like, if you know you're getting booked, they're going to be saying, we want Joss for this. Um, trap and drill. Like, American trap, hip-hop, rap really? and drill, yeah. So, I want to I wanna know your thoughts in terms of, like, you know, like, how there might have been a change from, like, American music to UK music, if that makes sense. Like, what do you actually prefer? Because, to me, UK's stepped up. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Whereas before, all I used to listen to was American music. Now, GRM... Mixtape Madness, we got all of these different platforms, Link Up TV. Um, obviously, Mixtape Madness the best, but you know what I'm saying? We've got these platforms that actually are pushing us forward. So I don't even listen to American music that much, unless it's straight. I just want some juice. I know, no, I'm here with my empty cup. The boy, you didn't want the boy, some juice. Man, you told me to let's talk the things. All right, cool, let's talk the things. Let's talk the things. So, like, how do you find that that transition's gone? Like, do you even listen to, like, US as much? Like, do you, which one do you even prefer playing? Um, you are buzzing. No, it's it. still it on me. Um, I, I don't. I guess I pref- not prefer American, but I listen to it more. Mm. Um, but I do like UK. I just feel like with UK music, there's still a lot more like growing to do kind of thing. Okay, like like how like where do you feel the growth isn't? If that makes sense. Like I feel like there's a lot of artists that I like, but I feel like there's 
a lot of like kind of copycats or a lot of people that not even copycats a lot of people that sound kind of the same the same but that's US though I know that's US but because US has has been had such a big scene for years I feel like there's like a lot of established artists and then you get the copycats but they don't get as much recognition do you know what I mean yeah 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 so you want us to not copy now though and just be like loads of original people like we can't be that harsh on the UK no I'm not trying to be harsh that's what I'm saying I'm saying that's why I'll probably listen to a lot more like mm. American stuff because it's the UK still growing, but don't get me wrong, like there's loads of UK artists that I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's probably like, yeah, I listen to more American stuff. Yeah, I can't lie. I'm more of a fan of the English stuff. To be fair, I can't remember last time I was like, yeah, let me go check for an American video. Unless it was Drake. That's <laughs> it. Drake, bro. <laughs> Fucking. What was I gonna say? I'm forgetful because I've I've really had too much. Already, bro. Already. That's what I was gonna say. I was watching. I was watching something. Um, I think it's Don Lippy Gorgon. Is yeah, that how you say his name. He's got um, the podcast um, for, the for the culture. Yeah, shut them up. And they was talking about Chip not being a legend. I want to know what Ooh. you lot think. Is he a legend or not? Do you think he's a legend? I'm saying Chip's a legend yeah. still. Yeah. Chip has to be a legend, yeah. bruv. Like journey wise, he's gone through it. He's been here. He's been here for ages. Um, music wise in terms of like talent you can't say nothing to him like and he'll go at anyone like Chip almost goes on like he has nothing to lose and then in terms of he's still relevant well okay wait do we agree with that that Chip is relevant yeah okay Just cool the album yeah. well. so cool. then so then why isn't because you beef me on this all the time why isn't Sneak Bo a legend then because <laughs> he beefs me okay. on this all the time right, when did I say that Sneak Bo wasn't a legend he did I said he's not my top 10 Nah, you say he's not a it's legend. Is Sneakball top 10 to you? See? No. Cool, he's my top 10. Top 10 what, though? So off if camera, I said off camera, why are you saying on oh, camera, yeah. bro? <laughs> What's wrong with man? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I personally don't remember saying that. I don't remember saying he's not a legend. But no, you'd have to put him up there because he started something, innit? Like, I can say man didn't even hear about certain man from ENDS talking about girls until Sneakball made Touch a Button. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's one of men's early tunes, though. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm oh. saying he started... That's what I'm saying. When he did that, that was when I could say, rah, I didn't really hear younger guys. Unless you were doing Tiny Temple Wifey with him, you wasn't doing girl tunes. Mm. You was either, like, straight hood or you was sweet boy. Mm. He meshed the two on Bashment, which was mad. So I give it to him. That's a sneak boy. I, gi- sneak I give it to him. Tunes. I give it to him. Where would you rank... Would you rank Sneak Boat anywhere, like... Like, how do you rank Sneak Boat? Like, right now as well, considering he's, he's still, like, releasing as well. Mmm... I don't know. I don't really listen to him too much. I listen to... What was it? He dropped Brixton. Yeah, yeah. I listened to that. Uh, I liked it, but I didn't... Not enough to... Like, I don't listen back to any of the songs, really. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, certain artists, I can listen to their tapes that they drop or whatever, but something has to, like, hold me. Do you know what I mean? For me yeah, to, yeah, like, yeah. go back, listen to it, put it on my, one of my playlists, but... Yeah, Fair. So what's really... grabbed you of recent then? I just want to know, like, what do, who does Joe rate? We'll, we'll get into, like, um, a top five another time, but mm-hmm. who do you actually rate now? What, from the UK? Yeah, UK. Um, I really like um, Young Vane and D-Block's tape. That was hard. That they dropped. That, like, what did you rate that? What did I rate? I rate it good now. Did I rate it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you rate that a bit no, low. No, no, I rated Notes low and D-Block high. Okay, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Check the shutter. Right? Cool, 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 yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I probably like that tape because there's no songs on there that I skip. Yeah, I mean. it was different and he had the singing on it as well. Yeah, and it's different. It's a different vibe to mm. a lot of, like, what D-Block does, I feel like. True, it's kind true, of, like, true, true, R&B-ish, true. kind of... That's like, what I said. smoother songs. Brother. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... We'll go back. I'm pretty sure you was like, oh, nah, not really the R&B. Uh, cool, cool, cool. All right, cool. Fair dues. Um... Yeah, no, no, that's what I like, pretty much have to uh, No, no, because no. this is your section. So in terms of DJing, like, what's the best gig you've been booked for? Oh, yeah, for real. Because oh, you've I'll been saying you've been flying yeah. out. Mm. Well, yeah, like, I just flew out for Cypress Break. Okay. Um, I don't know if you... Did you see the... I don't do the Raven and all that kind of stuff like that. I don't do the festival. I'm done with Cypress Blood, man. I had a terrible experience out there. Are you serious? Terrible, shocking, but you're gone. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was good. Mm. But... I thought, yeah, I thought it was going to be, like, a lot bigger, but I think, I'm not sure. I think that was the first one that they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it's, like... Pro- wait, the, the weekend just gone? Yeah, literally. It's proper late, no? Yeah, that's what I, that's well, what like I think. It was meant to be earlier, I think. I think. Yeah, it was a summer closing party, but I think it was meant to be earlier. Yeah. And they, it got pushed back. 
for yeah. whatever reason. But yeah, that was good, I guess. Like flying out and stuff for a booking. Mm, and I see you worked a lot with Carnes Hill now. Yeah, because I produce as well. Mm. Oh, swear. So, yeah. What's the, what's the uh, anything you've produced that come out yet, or is it um, released? One thing, like last year, that was co produced with me and Carnes, that was with uh, Young's Teflon. Mm. But, um, was that Firewater? No, Rocky. Oof. That tune's fucking hard, man. What's yeah, that's just Carnes. Um, Rocky. Rocky. Oh. He did a video for I swear. it. Yeah. I swear. Yeah, that was like the first thing, but then since then, I've kind of. Because I only started producing like last summer, so literally, yeah, yeah. like. I started then, and then that came out like a few months later. So is it an easy transition? Because I'm just thinking, like, anything where you're behind the computer is probably similar, if that makes sense. I'm not too sure if going from DJ into producing is just totally kind, simple. Kind of, I think so, but I think I found it easy because obviously the whole known music and stuff is mm. it makes it easier if you're a DJ, but I don't know, like, I'm kind of geeky with like computers and stuff mm -hmm. so i kind of picked up like programs quite quickly yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah i don't know but since then like i've just been trying to learn more with producing and stuff like actually the ins and outs of it um yeah. watching like little tutorials and that mm. so i've got some stuff now that's i'm just waiting for it to get mixed and then it's going to come out cool all right so you work with tef who would you like to work with someone from drill or mm. rap like what artists would you like to work with then when we come back after the break we could talk top fives. Well, it's probably going to be my top fives that I'm going to work with. Mm. But I will say probably K-Trap. Um, That's enough for your name of top five. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you said who? Oh, okay, so just, just one person. So K-Trap, yeah. Yeah, I guess Standing so. Standing out from the pack. All right, cool. Let's go on to the next topic. Cool.